Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, November 28th, 2021. 27 degrees at 9.14 a.m. and I'm your host, Bach Kamal. And I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star, Michael. Princess Elsie is upstairs. Samuel's in the living room, and I think Max and friend are downstairs torturing each other. Slight snow falling out there, light dusting on the trees, probably got an inch or so, maybe two, I don't know. Just too early for this for me, I gotta tell you that, but you takes what you gets. And I'm sitting here wondering why I didn't move somewhere warmer years ago, but... Now I think about it and I know why, you know. I'd rather deal with this than people and the chaos of living in warm places. Because where things are pleasant to live, there's millions of people. And I hate people. <laughs> well, I don't hate people, but I'm not big on humanity as a whole. And I'm sitting here reading more and just contemplating more of the chaos that they're pushing on us. And now we have a new COVID variant. And it's more infectious than the, the other variants. Which doesn't mean it's more deadly. It just means it's more infectious. And the... the, the, the I, I, I'm done. We're going to pause. We're back again, and I am a sinner, no doubt about that. Mikey's loving sitting here, and I'm loving having him here. I got woke up by him uh, knocking their treats off the coffee table, and, which forced the lid off it, and they got into those pretty heavy. They would have ate the whole container. Not the first time that's happened. Oh boy, we threw some feet out for the wildlife, but there isn't any out there right now. I don't know if they can see it, but some city chickens did fly by earlier. Um, I got a big tank on me, and this is no bullshit. I can barely get my belt buckled in the first hole. That's pretty sad, and I'm ashamed and embarrassed about that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh boy seems like all that there is to do anymore is eat and I don't even feel like doing that I just do it so we gotta get moving we gotta get moving if winter's coming early we definitely gotta get moving don't we Mikey so anyway Yesterday we went and picked up some food for the wildlife after we did coffee and wake up time and some yoga and What else did we do then we went and helped out at the soup kitchen the friendship room and made up about 75 meals gave away most of those I think like there were five or six of them left Came home, hung with the loves, read to them, and watched uh, episodes of Ellery Queen. Sounds like somebody going by with a snowblower. Who is that? Might be neighbor Ed, I don't know. I do not know. All I know is the more I know, the less I know. We're back. We've been joined by Max. My two brothers. They're all my brothers except Elsie. She's my sister. But these guys really are brothers. Oh boy, still nothing feeding out there. We're reading our readings and saying our prayers and just contemplating a plan of action for this day and for life, I guess. Because it's coming clear to me that it's just going to start getting more tighter, more restrictive, and they're just going to keep slinging the bullshit on top of us till it's so heavy. We're not going to want to go out of our homes and interact with people. At least I'm 
I'm reaching that point. And it's interesting because years ago when I had a sociology class, uh, our teacher, instructor, posed a question for us that we were supposed to answer and about things in the future, if things were going to be uh, more stricter or what was going to happen. This is it, you know, the control that goes on, the different ways, whether they're subvert, overt, covert, um, or just unintended forms of control that keep people from gathering together, keeping them home um, as a way to control because there's just too damn many of us and it's getting pretty chaotic out there. And, you know, all the BS about the COVID, all the BS, you know, about criminals being victims. Um, the, the organized groups going and robbing department stores, man. I mean, some shit's going to hit the fan here, you know, and it seems like if it keeps going the way it is, we're going to be under martial law. And I honestly just think, as far as these criminals go, a National Guard or somebody should be coming in and patrolling and just shooting all these fuckers. Enough's enough. Enough is enough. So anyway, it is just time to go back to the basics I learned in AA and, and not focus on any of that shit, you know, and just live life one day at a time and one moment at a time. Like I've been trying to do for years, you know, I'm not perfect at it, nobody ever is, but yeah, most of this shit does not affect me, and yet in some ways it does, but nah, the world's a beautiful place, and the more I interact with people and pay attention to what's going on, the less I see of that. And I need to get back to basics and stay back to basics and quit talking about, <laughs> like I joke, and it's not a joke, to go buy some property and live in a cave, man. But just get off the fucking grid and get away from this bullshit as much as possible. Just me and these loves. Yeah, look at Mackie. Look at Mackie. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna jump up there, Mackie? Yeah. We got it pretty good. We got it pretty good. Hey, we're here again, and look who's joined us. It's friend. It's Michael, and friend, and myself. And look at, he's cuddling next to friend. Mikey usually don't let him do that. He gets pissed off. So this is nice. This is another good thing. Mikey and friend are cuddling. They're touching. Look at that friend. That's where he used to rip off all the fur off his... Um, his head and tear that wide open that used to be raw and bloody and that's growing back thank god hey buddy well you're getting more and more domestic as time goes on aren't you you're a good boy and i love you yeah and i know you love me now yeah you do don't you yeah you do yeah that's really something but it's getting better mikey that's good you're being buddies with friend at least you're not growling at him. Oh yeah, we're ready for another carafe of coffee. Looks like we got a dove out there. And I'm thinking of maybe, I got a bunch of food in the, you know, canned food and other food and rice and flour and butter and frozen meat and all kinds of stuff. And I'm thinking of seeing how long I can go without going outside the house other than out in the yard to feed the wildlife. I got enough food out there for two weeks worth of feeding we might try to see if we can do that I doubt it'll last but you never know with me grandfather's son is trying to poke through the clouds and uh, there's always hope the dove is still on the wire the snow is still falling lightly and I'm still sitting here with my Michael as much as I'd like to just sit here, it's time to get another carafe of coffee going. Either that or I should just go back to bed. I think that's all we have for today. Piss off and thanks for not tuning in. <laughs>